your reputation is your brand. Your brand is your reputation. A lot of people do things online that they don't even realize affects their public image. And public image is very important because it's symbolic of what you represent online to the minds of billions of people around the world. So you want to attach yourself to a concept that you wish to represent to other people. If other people are picking up the wrong idea about you, then you have to change either your message or the style of how you promote your message. And you know, you have to keep track of a tr- you have to see the trend of how people are responding to you. Is it positive or is it negative? If you're running an online business, there is only one answer here. This is not a philosophy class. If you're running an online business, you want a positive image of whatever positive image it it represents. It can be the rebellion army taking over the reptiles. It can be um, we're the team that helps you get rich. We're the team that helps you get a girl. We're the team that helps you get guys. We're the team that helps you with your relationships. We're the team that does X, Y, Z. It's got to be connected to some sort of positive representation of what it is that you're trying to do. And if you understand this, then you pretty much understand the whole concept of what I'm trying to explain here. And I'm saying this because some people, they play around too much and they're very experimental without knowing what it does to how it affects other people's perception of them. And this is important because if you don't know who you are, you don't really know what you represent. And as a, as a quick like assignment or homework, you can choose what is your belief system, what is your mission statement, and then make your videos and content about that. If, if what you're preaching is about connection, and then you're telling people... You know, you're telling people that, you know, you should go for power. You're kind of shooting yourself in the foot, even though it's philosophically true, right? So you can say connection. Like, if you're if you're promoting connection, then you should be promoting things that help a relationship be stabilized, peaceful, safety, connection. But then if you're talking about power, you're kind of really branching off to a whole different philosophy or a different kind of belief system. And this is what people do. People mix hot and water. It's like, which do you believe in? I personally am very indifferent to what people believe in. If, if what you believe in works for you, then so be it. Do it. Believe it. Right? But the problem is that people mix hot and cold at the same time. What do you represent? Whatever you represent, should be obvious to your fan base. Now, again, you know, being, you know, what you represent is very flexible. You know, if you're a philosophy, like if if, if what you do is philosophical, then there's a lot of different to- topics that you can talk about. If you if what you're doing is spirituality, then there's a lot of different topics you you should talk about. However, what I'm getting at is. You should be congruent with your message to some degree. So there, you know, obviously when we are doing when we're creating content as an artist, you know, we are doing a lot of different things. We're experimenting with our own artwork, which is fine, right? I'm an artist myself and I, I love to experiment with different uh, messages, different meanings. And one of my pet peeves is when people are crit- criticizing my trial and error process of me just forming my art. But for this message, what I'm trying to say is that your your artwork should be a, a reflection of who you are. It should represent who you are as a person, what you what you stand for, what you represent, whatever that is for you. And I just want to you know, give you space to like answer that question for yourself. If you are an artist or an online business, 
Are you fully congruent in your message? Does your message make sense? Is your message giving you a positive image to your to your customers, potential customers? Because if not, then you're not doing what sells. And if it doesn't sell, then you're hurting your business. So then you also have to choose, do I want to promote my business and make more money? Or do I care more about influence and changing the way people think? Because sometimes you can't do both simultaneously. You can and you can't. All right? So if which, which would you rather? Would you rather have the, the ability to influence people? Or would you rather have the ability to make tons of sales? Because your purpose will alter the direction that you go into. And sometimes you can't do both, right? But anyways, I think I cleared up this subject. That's all I got for you on this one. Check me out on ProsperityLifeVice.com for the best tips and strategies on how to win more life. And guys, pick your message. Does your message reflect who you are? Does the audience like what you represent? Also, check out the links down below for resources that will help you transform yourself into the best version of yourself.